like to show you how to break up a mixed bouquet into several different vases to put around your house to enjoy it in all rooms versus just one giant bunch. I got this at Costco, but you can get it anywhere. First off, it comes with this. I'm going to mix up half of it into this pitcher of water. If we need it, we'll use the other half. I don't really follow the instructions of how much. This just works for me and they stay alive for a long time. So a lot of times midweek, I will change the water out. And if I have leftover powder that helps it to last longer, I'll do that. If not, I just put fresh water in it. Stir it around a little bit. Okay, we have that ready. I have a variety of vases I've collected over time. Find something cute or different flowers get delivered, I will use those. So use what you have. Mason jars can also work, so don't worry about it if you don't have jars. So we're just gonna kind of look and see what we have here to know kind of what we're going to put in these different vases. So I have this vase, three, three vases in this little carrier, and this one is mostly gonna take the overflow of what we have. This small one for a single or very slender flower. This bigger one that will take a few but not too many. This one just takes something small too. And I got this at Target, these three small vases. I have these kept in my kitchen just for cutting flowers. You can use scissors, but these work so much easier. A lot of times with scissors, I would pinch myself as it came down because it took so much effort to cut it. This has a nice sharp blade and really cuts it easy. I think in this small one, what we will do is cut up some of these carnations so what I'm gonna do is fill these up. Okay, so we are going to take some of these carnations and put it in these vases. I'm gonna do two of them with that. There's really no right or wrong way to do this, just if you like it, it's good enough. This is going to be for your house. No one's asking for a professional. Also in these, I will do one of these purple ones. And then just try it out, see if it works. This one, you might want to add a second one. Just keep adding to it until you feel it looks right. And then for me, I'm loving it. So this one's good to go. Okay, we are going to do this tall skinny one. Fill that up with water. And you don't have to fill everything up to the top. Just want to make sure it's halfway or a little more. That way it gives it room to drink without drying up. This, we might want the hydrangea in there. Mm, I feel that's not quite the look I'm going for. Well, I think I like these. I'm going to do two of them. I think that two will fit. Yep. Okay, but I'm going to have them staggered just slightly. So to kind of get the gist of it, I'm going to measure it off the side here. I like to cut it just a little bit longer in case I want to take off more. I can, but you can't add more. Okay, and then here is this. Let's do this trio. And add some of these. Maybe this 
bigger one. So we want to get that water in there and ready. And then probably we'll need to mix up another batch of the water. We might want to cut it down just a little more. We'll have to see. Let's see. In this one, we might want to do these little pink flowers. Tear away some of the excess leaves. I'm going to cut that down just a little bit more. Okay. And then this small one. I thought it might be fun to do these little tiny pink flowers. So we want to cut these fairly short. fresher longer if you can immediately put the cut stem into the water. And then I'm going to add some filler green with this. later I'm not stuck to how many bases I brought out. So for this maybe let's do kind of a combination of this green and pink. Just a little too high and a little too thin. But 
Okay. Feeling good about that. There's a couple of leaves I don't love, so I'm just going to take those off. I'm going to fill up this last vase. Okay, this one's going to have our hydrangea. I like to keep this low. That way, just as kind of supporting itself in the bowl. So all of these I plan to cut fairly low. Sometimes I have leftover greens. I don't feel the need to use every green in here, but it's a good filler. So if you feel like there's kind of a bare spot, throw in some green. from all sides, so. 